Abuelo and the Three Bears by Jerry Theo, illustrated by Ana Lopez Escriva. It was a quiet Sunday. Emilio and his grandfather sat on the front porch. Abuelo, said Emilio, do we have to wait much longer? When will everybody get here? Your cousins will arrive soon, Abuelo answered, and we'll have a fine dinner. I'll tell you a story to help pass the time. Once there were three bears who lived in the woods. Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and their little Osito. One Sunday morning, Papa Bear woke up as grumpy as ever. Then he smelled something good. Mmm, frijoles, he said. Abuelo, you're joking, laughed Emilio. Bears don't like beans. Well, all the bears I know like frijoles, said Abuelo. Papa Bear got up and rushed down to the kitchen. Buenos dias, said Papa Bear to Mama Bear and Osito. Papa Bear sat down at the table and tucked a napkin under his chin. How are the frijoles? Are they ready yet? He asked. Yes, answered Mama Bear, but they're still too hot to eat. I can't wait, said Papa Bear. I'm so hungry, I could eat an elephant. Abuelo, said Emilio. Bears don't eat elephants, Emilio answered. Abuelo, you must never argue with a hungry bear. Stubborn Papa Bear didn't listen to Mama Bear's warning. Ay, he growled, jumping out of his chair. These beans are too hot. I told you so, said Mama Bear. Why don't we take a walk into town while they cool? All right, grumbled Papa Bear, whose mouth was still burning. So the bears left their breakfast to cool and went out. Just then, in another part of the woods, a girl named Trencitas set out for her house to visit her friend Osito. She was called Trencitas because she had long black braids. Abuelo, Emilio called out, the girl in the story is called Goldilocks and she has blonde hair. Goldilocks, Abuelo shrugged. In my story, it was Trencitas with her long black braids who came to visit, and she was hungry too. When Trencitas arrived at Osito's house, she noticed that the door was open, so she stepped inside and followed her nose until she came to the three bowls of beans. First, Trencitas tasted some beans from the great big bowl, but they were too hot. Then she tasted some from the medium-sized bowl, but they were too cold. Finally, she tasted some from the little bowl, and they were just right. So she finished them all up. Now, Trencitas decided to sit in the living room and wait for the bears to return. She sat in the great big chair, but it was too hard. She sat in the medium-sized chair, but it was too soft. Then she sat in the little chair, and it was just right until crash. Abuelo. What's Trencita going to do? asked Emilio. She broke her friend's chair. Don't worry, Abuelo said. She'll come back later with glue and leave it like new. Trencita was feeling very sleepy. She went upstairs to take a rest. First, she tried the great big bed, but the blanket was scratchy. Then she tried the medium-sized bed, but it was too lumpy. Finally, she tried the little bed. It was too small, but it was so cozy and soft that Trencita soon fell asleep. When the three bears came home, Papa, Be Papa Bear headed straight to the kitchen to eat his frijoles. Ay, he growled when he saw his bowl. Somebody's been eating my beans. And somebody's been eating my beans, said Mama Bear. There's only one bean left in my bowl, said Osito. Then the three bears went into the living room. Aye, said Papa Bear, when he saw that his chair had been moved. Somebody's been sitting in my chair. And somebody's been sitting in my chair, said Mama Bear. And my chair is all over the place, said Osito. The three bears climbed the stairs to check out the bedrooms. Papa Bear went first. Mama Bear and Osito followed behind him. Aye, said Papa Bear. When he looked in the bedroom, somebody's been sleeping in my bed. And somebody's been sleeping in my bed, said Mama Bear. Look who's sleeping in my bed, said Osito. He ran over to Trencitas and woke her up. 
Then they all had a good laugh. By now it was getting late. Mama Bear said they'd walk Francita's home to make sure she got there safely. But Bob Bear did not like this idea. Another walk, he growled. What about my frijoles? There'll be beans at my house, offered Francita's. I'll bet that made Papa Bear happy, said Emilio. You're right, said Abuelo. Here's what happened next. When they all arrived at Trencita's house, they sat down at a long table with Trencita's parents, grandparents, uncles, aunts, and lots of cousins. They ate pork and fish and chicken and tortillas and beans and salsa so hot it brought tears to their eyes. And they laughed and shared stories. So you see, Emilio, said Abuelo, Papa Bear had to wait a long time to eat his frijoles. But in the end, he had a wonderful meal and lots of fun, just as you will when your cousins arrive. Is that the end of the story, Emilio asked? Yes, answered Abuelo, and it's the end of your waiting. <laughs>